Mrs. Tice, now that the winter months are approaching and it's turned quite cold here in the Roanoke Valley, quite a few of the kids, while they are out on holidays, have been ice skating in some of the ponds around Roanoke. Does the Roanoke Valley Safety Council have any tips for these children who are out skating? Yes, we do. We don't feel like the ice is thick enough for them to be skating yet. Ice should be at least five inches thick before the children skate on it. And frequently, while it's thick enough along the shore, it isn't thick enough over in the middle of the area, the pond or the lake, and the children skate on it and then they fall in. So we think that ice should be at least five inches thick. It should be tested by an adult, and an adult should be in attendance at all times supervising the children. We don't think the children should be out there alone like this. Are there any ponds in this area or lakes which you at the Safety Council feel are unsafe for ice skating? There are many ponds and lakes in some of our subdivisions and in our country areas. I don't think any of them are safe for the children to skate on unless somebody has supervised and checked it and made sure that the ice is thick. The um, ice may be thick in the morning, but then we have so often the warming in the afternoon and any time the temperature gets above 30 degrees, that the ice is going to get slushy in the, at least in the center of the pond and on top, and it may be too um, slushy for the children to do any skating on.